if you watched my uh if you watched my rant for lack of a better term episode a while back ago i was talking about the downside to country living and come to find out it was our dog bringing the trash to our, our gate to our front door <laughs> um and he's had to stay in the pen the past couple of nights because he kept getting out even with us blocking it with rocks and a chain um so we need to come up with hold on colt you want to say hi to everybody yeah um, we've been needing to figure out a way to keep him in. So, my idea that I have is to take this piece of metal sheeting, assuming it'll go wide enough, I don't know, I haven't measured it out and everything, put some holes in one side so that the other side will be up against this gate. We'll still chain around the fence but we just need a physical barrier to prevent Colt from getting through. It may not work, but we got to try something because Puppy just can't stay in the pen all the time. He needs to run and enjoy. Right, mister? Yeah. Well, if you'd be nice to chickens, you could be out right now. Yeah. So start being nice to chickens and you can get out. Colt. You hear? Hi! Say hello! <laughs> so, I'm going to put it up against here and see if it even fits. Probably about there is where we would need. And even that may not be wide enough. But we'll see. Because again, we gotta try something. I don't think it has to be perfect, we just need it to be good enough keep the in. We'll see how this turns out, huh, George? Frank Colt. So we're going to continue that project that Simmer was talking about, and I'm going to drill those holes for on the sheet metal that she, that Simmer um, measured to see if it was big enough for the gap that we're going to put on the um, gate to the house so that we can keep Colt in the yard. I'll just walk you through what I do and hopefully it's just real simple and easy for for me and for y'all to understand. So I'm going to measure it out and do a few markings on here so that I can just drill a couple holes and I'll probably um, either use wire to hold this to the fence or I may use zip ties depending on uh, how much time I have so we'll see you in a bit and I'll take you through this okay we'll see if that works uh, all of them are different in spacing, so I need to figure out where, how, how much spacing I want in them. So, we'll get to it. So I'm going to use this drill bit. It's a 5 30 seconds, and... It should be big enough for me to drill these holes and be able to put in either the wire or the uh, zip ties. So let's get started. Last set. All right, so I have my set of two holes 
drill that's going to be attached to the gate and so let's go do that so now i'm just going to attach this to the gate so that hopefully it will keep colt in i found out i drilled those holes a little bit too small for these uh zip ties so i'm gonna go see if we have some uh wire we can use so catch you in a second all right so i found some uh wire that used to be a clothes hanger it looks like and i grabbed my tin snips and some pliers so i can tighten these together and make it to where i can get this piece of tin or aluminum i don't know what type of metal this is um and put it on the gate so that we can keep colt inside our yard Last one. All right, so it's all done. And uh, looks like it's gonna work, so awesome so that was another good day on the homestay and we'll see you tomorrow have a blessed day bye So hit that subscribe button also the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out check us out on our social media pages too we have facebook and pinterest and soon we'll have instagram the links are below bye y'all <laughs>